Welcome back to another deep dive with Colin. Today we're going to cover off contact. And not just, hey, how far off the platen do I put my screen, but the functional version of off contact. Is it the eighth of an inch that I read on the internet and I hear on internet forums? Or is it three sixteenths of an inch or a little more because the screen I'm using is lower in tension. So we're going to go over functional off contact, not just, you know, where should I put my screen, pull out the measuring stick and go, that, that's where my off contact is. We're going to tell you how to adjust your off contact to better help you get a good print. Because remember, we want that screen to snap off of that ink deposit as fast as possible. The longer that screen stays in contact with the ink and your shirt, the more it's going to want to pull the shirt fibers with it as it comes out of that ink deposit. So we have this screen, no image on this screen because we're not looking to print anything. We're just looking to demonstrate what's going on. So I'm going to pull this screen down so you can see what the current off contact we have is. It is fairly low. If I was to put a t-shirt on here, we'd have really tight off contact. We have it adjusted in the back. We have our tilt adjusted. So the screen is in plane to the platen. And then because I can, I have a support structure here. It's just a quarter, but this helps to keep the screen up off of the platen. So you can hear it coming into contact. Because when I pull, whenever you're on a manual press and you pull your, your squeegee across, you're always going to be pressing the screen into the platen itself and into the shirt because there's no support on a manual press like there is on an auto to keep your screen up in the back. So that's why we want to put something here. Now we can't always do that. I understand that. But where we can, doing something like this is going to be very helpful. So we've put an off contact adjuster, a helper, it's a quarter, here on the end of our platen to help keep our screen in plane as I pull my squeegee across it. Now, if you have shorter, uh, a shorter platen, this can be a little bit more challenging to do. So this is a 1618. Uh, if I had a 1622, uh, this would be even easier to accomplish uh, across all my prints. So look at the tools you have and do what you can with your tools and, and take everything that I'm gonna give you here and try to apply it within your current setup. So I'm going to place the t-shirt on here to better illustrate, of course, what this off contact, what this amount of gap here gives us once we put a t-shirt on. I do this collar off and I'm going to pull that collar off a little bit just for the camera. Smooth that out and then I pull this down. Now as we take a look at that on the side, that's not a whole lot of off contact. If you have a larger print here, as you are pulling that squeegee across, there's a really good chance that if you have any kind of open area on your screen, the screen doesn't have enough tension to pull off of your print. So your mesh itself is gonna be sticking into your print. And you're gonna be sitting here going like this to get that, the screen to come up and clear properly. But if we were to increase our off contact, so on a 250, we don't have a central off contact like we do on the Riley 300 or the 360 or any of those upper echelon presses that are out there. So we need to find another way to increase our off contact without adjusting the bolts in the back. Because if we're doing a multicolor print, that immediately throws us out of registration. So you can get something thin like a dime or a shim if you happen to have any around, or what I've done here is I've ripped up an ultimate cleanup card. So this is a piece of cardboard and I'm going to place it here on the do not touch bolt. I'm just going to leave it there on top and I'm going to bring this down. And now we can immediately see an increase in our off contact. So if your screen tension is lower and we need to increase that off contact to give it functioning off contact, this is a great shortcut and a great way to achieve extra off contact. Now we can see here that I'm a little bit off of this quarter. There's a little bit of bounce there, but let's give this a quick, uh, quick print and see what this looks like. 
what I'm looking for is something on the camera that can show how the squeegee itself is going down and where the blade is, it's touching the shirt, but the screen itself right behind it is coming up. The way you're able to see this is that there's a slight green hue coming through, both in front of and behind the squeegee blade as it travels. I'm gonna add another piece of the cleanup card to increase the off contact and see if we can't get a better shot to illustrate this. Now you can see that we've increased our off contact by quite a bit just by adding that little, little gap there, that little bit of a shim. And because of that, let me add just one more quarter over here to help with that gap. You can see that even with two quarters and a t-shirt there, those two, two pieces of cleanup card is creating enough radial lift that we've got quite a bit of off contact. Let's take a look at this. The green light in the back, you can see it picking up right after the squeegee blade, like this. Functional off contact. Create the gaps that you need in order to get that screen to actually snap off. As your screen goes up higher and higher and that squeegee comes down and presses, that pressure from your squeegee ends up increasing the functional tension of your screen. And as it travels forward, you have created a higher tension screen in those areas. So the screen snaps off of your print, laying down a really nice, clean, fuzzy free print. So to recap a couple of key points, all you need to increase your off contact is something thin, a shim, in this case, an ultimate cleanup card. That's about a millimeter thick. But the radial increase that it creates by having this point be up creates enough off contact here for you to work with. Have a support structure on the edge of your platen that helps keep your screen in plane, meaning even, even height off your platen from, from the back of the platen to the front of the platen. As you bring your screen down, you have even off, off contact across your screen. This will lead to far better prints than you were doing before when you had not regulated that. If you're dealing with thicker and thicker garments, increase the number of your, of your shims. Place two, three, maybe even four if you're doing hoodies on that do not touch bolt. Maybe tape them in place so they don't move during a production run. Again, have support here at the edge of your platen and give it a test. Always test anything new that you do in your shop to make sure that, there, that there's not a flaw in there and it's gonna end up hurting you or your print. All right, this was a deep dive with Colin. If I missed anything in this process and you guys caught it, leave a comment in the section. Don't flame me, but let me know that I missed something. If there are any topics that you would like to see covered, please drop a comment below. And there's also a link in the description for you to fill out a small form so that you could leave a larger comment of what you would like to see and maybe why you would like to see it. Maybe you're in a weird situation. And you're like, why isn't this working? Can you deep dive on what's happening? As always, like, subscribe, and let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.